All right, in today's video, we're going to discuss the net listing. Now, in my previous video, we discussed the five types of listing contracts that you're going to need to know for the real estate licensing exam. And I'm going to put a link right up here in the upper right hand corner, a little eye up there. Click on that. That'll link you to the video where we discuss those five different types. But one of the five was the net listing. Now, we didn't get into the mathematics or the real estate math of, of how net listings work. So I'm going to do that in this video. Now understand when there is a question on the real estate licensing exam regarding net listings, what they're going to want ultimately is two answers. All right. The first one is they're going to want to know, they're going to want to know what the uh, purchase price has to be. The purchase price. That's the first one. The second one is what the agent or the broker commission is going to be. They may want to know one specifically or both, but that is really what they're looking for. And I'm going to show you how to calculate both. All right. So let's run through a scenario here. Let's say that the seller net, remember a net listing is the seller says, I want X amount of dollars at the closing table. Anything above and beyond that is the agent or the broker's commission. All right, so let's say that in our example here, the seller says at the closing table, I want to make $79,900. I want to check for that amount at closing. That's what we call the seller net. Well, let's say that the agent says, well, okay, but I want at least a 6% commission. A 6% commission. All right, so how do we figure this out? What is the math to figure both of these out? Now, the first thing we got to do is um, take 100% and minus the six. Now, let's say that the broker wanted 10%. We would take 100% minus 10. But in our scenario, the broker wants 6%. Well, that gives us 94%. Now, this 94% is important because the 94% means that $79,900, which is the seller net here, represents 94% of the overall transaction, all right? So if you go back to, and if you remember from kindergarten math, we convert 94% into decimal 94. All right, so now let's figure out the next step here. And that is we're gonna figure out what the purchase price has to be to cover not only the seller net, but also the 6% here. All right, so what we're gonna do is take the $79,000, $79,900 seller net, and we're gonna divide it by, very important, divide it by decimal 94. And when we do the math, if you do it on your calculator, we're gonna come up with a number of $85,000. Now, $85,000 represents the purchase price, the final purchase price, uh, that's gonna be able to cover not only 79,900 seller net, but also the agent's 6% commission. So we've already established the first one. What is the purchase price that, what's the purchase price to cover both items? Now we're gonna go one step further here, and this is where we're gonna figure out what the agent commission is gonna be. And the way we do that is we take the $85,000 and we multiply it by 6% or going back to kindergarten math, decimal 06. And when we do that, that should give us an answer of $5,100. $5,100 as the agent commission, which represents the 6%. And we can do a quick math here just to double check. If you wanted, we can take $85,000 and we minus $5,100 and that gives us uh, $79,900. That's a great way just to double check here. And of course, that is the seller net. So when we're doing uh, net listings, remember that the the test question is always going to want to know uh, either the purchase price or the agent commission or both, and that is how you calculate that.